BuckTalkAbuse.com is taking a look across the universe and heads back to where they have. This is our original route. When 16 year old Amy decides to board the ship with Starship Gossipy, her mom and her parents, she will remain frozen for 300 years in a coma like state aboard a starship traveling at light speed to land on a nearby planet and habitable by humans. All this is funded by the U.S. government after which missions are now prepared as we need more resources and futuristic plans. Amy realizes that by boarding the ship, she'll be leaving behind the life she once had on Earth, leaving behind a friend and beloved one, the normality of everyday life, and the simple love for her parents to go because of their important condition. In the darkness that follows, Amy dreams and longs for many things. She reveals her worries that the mission might go astray, but she could have never expected to woke up 50, wake up 50 years before the ship lands on the planet. Still, Amy awakes to find a whole new world on the board ship. She quickly learns that unlike the passengers that remain frozen, there are always a few thousand crew members who are ready to serve a ship that will. And over 250 later, years later, it's now their chosen, chosen, chosen around the metal aircraft. And even more shocking, so Amy must find out why she was awake prior to land, if it's out of error or stark sabotage. To be truthful, my favorite part of Cross the Universe is the story's concept. The opening paragraphs truly manage to grasp my attention due to the use of extraordinary events in the name of science fiction. The deliverability and backbone of the novel was also set up in a wondrous dimension that the story's attention to do and tell so much. The effectiveness Amy experiences through a set of difficult decisions starts off right on the first page of the novel's story. As the story progresses, we get to know Amy better and better as a person and a fictional character. So very interesting, a very interesting aspect of the story is the self-operative world that was going on over the starship. An experiment of, of society shrunk down to get only a thousand passengers. Two brief but memorable discussions of religion and race across the universe was truly the thought for those. The novel also argues between the characters of Amy and Elvis. At first I was slightly confused with all the alternation between multiple characters after Amy wakes up, wakes up, but quickly it counts to the sound. The two main protagonists in the adventure bring heart pounding violent romance like no other. Ro readers that consider science fiction and dimensional romance would definitely try this now. My argument for this novel is a solid A. We start off for a review of Across the Universe. This is the first novel in the series um, of Across the Universe. It's going to be a trio. And so check out um, the author's after this. That's it. That looks awesome.